Hi friends, today we're going to read Little Gold Goes to School. Let's start. Little Gold Goes to School. Tomorrow was the first day of school and Little Gold was nervous. Don't worry my little Maga, her mother said. I'm sure school will just, school will be just glassy. Her mom sat with her and explained how horrible the first day of school would be. It made little girl feel a little better. Little girl devoured a bedtime snack. She brushed her teeth with rotten onion flavored toothpaste. She jumped into bed. Her mom slobbed her and tenderly said, I hope you have a dreadful nightmares. Little girl was still thinking about school as she closed her eyes and drifted off to sleep. When little girl's eyes popped open, it was morning. She had been hoping for the weather for her first day of school would be favored, cold and rainy. But alas, it was bright and sunny. Her mom licked her goodbye. Little girl headed to the bus stop. Her mom had explained that the school bus would be an old scrap heap with a terrifying driver. But it arrived. The bus looked safe and the driver was friendly. Welcome aboard, she said. The principal waited outside to greet everyone with a huge smile on her face. Little girl hoped the classroom would be dark and dark and the teacher would be mean. But she was disappointed again. At least lunch would be disgusting. Her mom had promised to pack her favorite. A maggot and brown banana peel sandwich, rotten milk and a pickle and fish bone cookie for dessert. But inside her lunch box, she found a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. There was even a chocolate chip cookie. Yeah. At, the, at this point, little girl was sure that he hated school. She sat on the floor as a librarian, librarian explained how they would use their library cards. There was something familiar about Miss Shirley, but little girl couldn't quite put her finger on it. Miss Shirley told them each student would get a library book home. Little girl had hard time choosing. Luckily, Miss Shirley had a suggestion. The frightful guest. Then it was time for art class. Little girl made a mess. She tore paper. She threw paint. She glued scraps of fabric to the torn paper and thrown paint. Wow, said Mr. Reedy, the art teacher, that powerful. I can really feel the energy and emotion in your work. Let's put the student art show. Just when little girl was thinking she might actually survive the first day of school, the unthinkable happened. Hi, said a smiling boy. My name is Ben. Let's be friends. Friends, friends, gold don't have friends. Gold are too creepy and spooky and spying, chilling to have friends. So little gold did the only sensible thing she could think of. She ran away screaming. Little gold was still screaming when she opened her eyes. Mom, I dreamed that I went to school and everyone lies. It was awful. Oh, my little maggot, said her mom. That was just a dream. Now it's time for you to get ready in your real first day of school.
Little girl was nervous as she headed to the bus stop. Rumble, rumble, but happily the weather was cold and rainy. The school bus was rusty and filled with unnursery creatures. Her teacher was hideous. Slunch was absolutely repulsive. And when she saw the librarian, Miss Shirley, little girl knew everything would be all right. The end. I hope you liked this story. See you in the next video. Bye.